Hello and welcome to episode 93 of the Tristan Podcast, where I will be talking about all of the presidents of the United States in a very uh, surface way. George Washington was the first president. John Adams was the second president, and he was also the first vice president. Both of those presidents were the only presidents to serve in the 1700s. Thomas Jefferson was the third president. He won the election of 1800 technically took place in the 18th century. The 19th century does not start until 1801, which is when he was sworn in. So he did not serve during the 1700s nor the 18th century. James Madison was the fourth president. He was from Virginia. So was Thomas Jefferson. So was George Washington. John Adams was from Massachusetts. James Monroe was the fifth president. He was also from Virginia. John Quincy Adams, the son of John Adams, was the sixth president. He was also from Massachusetts. Andrew Jackson, who's on the $20 bill, was the seventh president. Martin Van Buren was the eighth president. He was from New York. William Henry Harrison was the ninth president. John Tyler was the tenth president. James Polk was the 11th president. Zachary Taylor was the 12th. Miller Fillmore was the 13th. Franklin Pierce was the 14th. James Buchanan was the 15th. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th. Andrew Johnson was the 17th. Ulysses S. Grant was on the $50 bill. Rutherford B. Hayes was the 19th. James A. Garfield was the 20th. Chester A. Arthur was the 21st. <coughs> Grover Cleveland was the 22nd. Benjamin Harrison, who's the grandson of William Henry Harrison, was the 23rd. Grover Cleveland was again president. He was the 24th. William McKinley was the 25th. Theodore Roosevelt, who is the youngest ever president. Sixth. Taft was the 27th. Woodrow Wilson, the 
28th. Warren G. Harding with the 29th. Calvin Coolidge was the 30th. Herbert Hoover was the 31st. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the 32nd, the only president to serve more than two terms, which resulted in the United States creating an amendment to make sure that never happened again. He was on the dime. Truman was the 33rd. Eisenhower was the 34th. JFK was the 35th. Lyndon B. Johnson, no relation to Andrew Johnson, was the 36th. Nixon was the 37th. Ford was the 38th. Carter was the 39th. Ronald Reagan, who appeared in a movie with a monkey, was the 40th. Might have been a TV show. Bonanza, I think. The 41st was George H.W. Bush. The 42nd was Bill Clinton. The 43rd was George W. Bush, the son of George H.W. Bush. The Roosevelt's were cousins, by the way. Theodore Roosevelt and FDR. They were like second cousins. Barack Obama, 44th. Donald Trump, 45th. And our current president, Joe Biden, is the 46th. John Adams was a Federalist. One of the presidents was a national Republican. I don't fully understand what that means. It's the only other like weird party. Other are Whigs. Two elected Whigs and two Whigs that were their vice presidents that succeeded them. William Henry Harrison was a Whig and he died. Zachary Taylor was a Whig and he died. Some people think his wife poisoned him. Charity. I wasn't there. Warren G. Harding also died. He might have been the National Republican. Teapot Dome Scandal. That's what everybody's talking about. 1920s. Teapot Dome Scandal. I'm pretty sure that Taft was president when the 20th Amendment was made, which is income tax. Income tax didn't exist before the amendment happened. 